Over and over again, they talked about the one who was the resurrection and the life. Jesus is the resurrection and the life. Your addiction does not have more power than the power of God. Your broken marriage and the bitterness between you cannot be stopped by hearts changed by the power of God. There is a source that we should surrender our lives to, and that source of power and strength is Jesus. And so they had this unity, and they were attacked from the outside by Herod and Antipas and and, and those, the Karens, that wanted to stop their party, they were attacked on the outside. And so they, their unity was challenged. And so they decided, well, we're going to pray for more boldness. And so they prayed with more boldness. And the house was shaken. The Bible says that after this prayer, verse 31 of Acts 4, the meeting place shook. <laughs> Let's not just skip over that. They prayed and God said, all right, wicka, 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 I'm with you. They prayed, and God went, go. And they had this sense that God was with us. Don't take the supernatural out of the Bible. Because God can do supernatural things for his church that defy logic, science, or human understanding always. And so the Bible tells us that they were consumed with a deep sense of awe and lived in unity together and it was known to the whole world in their little corner of it that was known at that time that there was great unity among the church of Jesus Christ. Matter of fact, that's what Jesus calls us to live out. In John 13, he said, so now I'm giving you a new commandment, that you should love each other just as I've loved you. You should love each other. Your love for one another will prove to the world that you are my disciples. Their love for Jesus and their love for one another was proving to the world that they had a genuineness to their faith. I was talking to a friend who brought a friend to church the last uh, several weeks. And he'd been here for, for, for several weeks at a time. And, and I don't know if it was in church or if it was uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a lunch meeting or whatever. But this friend looked at my friend and said, I can't believe it. Christianity is real. He said, I, I didn't know. I didn't know it was real. It's real. I feel it. I sense it. I see it. The Bible tells us that your love for one another will prove to the world that you are my disciples. And so there's a proving that was taking place, and the, the forces that be on the outside started to attack it. Now, the key to the early church and their great joy in knowing the Lord Jesus is found here in Colossians. The Bible tells us how our lives are affected by living out our me in the context of his greater we, the church. It says here in Colossians 3 and 1, and I love this verse, and I just want you to get it. It says, since you have been raised to new life with Christ, set your sights on the realities of heaven, where Christ sits at the place of honor at God's right hand, Think about the things of heaven, not the things of earth. For you died to this life, and your real life, say real life, is hidden with Christ in God. That's what real life is. It's life that is submerged, that is hidden, that is connected to, that's all-encompassing, is hidden with Christ in God. And then this verse 4 is the one I want you to get because they got it. This was how they lived their life, and it showed to us in Colossians as an example. Verse 4, and Christ, who is your life. That's how they found joy. Christ was their life. They found great joy because they, they got all. Man, there was this old song we used to sing back in the church with the banjos where I grew up at. It went like this. You ready? You're not ready. You're not ready. Regardless of what you say, you're not ready. It went like this. I'm all wrapped up, tied up, tangled all up in Jesus. I'm all wrapped up, tied up, tangled all up in Jesus. I'm all wrapped up, tied up, tangled all up in him. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going through I worship. <laughs> Christ, who is your life. They just didn't have another reality. They didn't have another devotion. Why would I go to the lake if the church is meeting together? <laughs> Welcome to all of our online viewers today. <laughs> Listen, I, I've, in the last several days, the Lord has allowed me to meet several people that watch online, whether they work Sundays or whether they, and, and it's put faces to the people that are watching right now, I want you to know that we're reaching, praying, and believing God for, 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 for him to do amazing things in your life. 
The Christ who is your life is revealed to the whole world, and you will share in all his glory. 